Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain the movie Victor Frankenstein, released in the year 2015. The movie revolves around a young man who has a hunchback. He has been working as a circus clown known as Felix the Clown as long as he can remember. Due to his hunchback, everyone treats him poorly, but his fascination with the science of medicine, particularly human anatomy, helps him forget about his problem. When he's not performing, he draws beautifully detailed pictures of human anatomy and serves as the physician for the traveling circus. However, he's not satisfied and he wants to learn more about this internal universe that makes us who we are. The brains, the lungs, bones, muscles, the heart. One evening, while performing in London, an aerialist named Lorelei falls from her trapeze. Felix and a physician named Dr. Victor Frankenstein in the audience rush to her aid. After briefly assessing her condition, Victor concludes that she broke her collarbone and dislocated her shoulder, causing pressure on the lungs. Victor says he can't do anything about it without the right tools, but Felix refuses to give up and saves Lorelei's life using Victor's pocket watch. Victor is amazed by Felix's knowledge and skills. Hence, he offers to help him escape the circus, which enrages the circus owner. That night, the circus owner burns all of Felix's books and locks him in a cage. After admitting Lorelei to the hospital, Victor returns and liberates Felix. The circus owner and his men chase them, but they manage to escape. In the next scene, Victor takes him to his townhouse laboratory. He examines Felix's back and deduces that his hunch is a cyst. Despite Felix's protests, he drains it and puts him in a harness to correct his posture. Like a miracle, Felix can stand for the first time in his life. Before descending to his basement laboratory, Victor tells Felix to clean himself up and assume the identity of his missing roommate named Igor Straussman, should anyone question his presence. The next morning, Inspector Turpin and his colleague Alistair investigate a robbery and murder that has taken place at the circus. It turns out someone stole a lion and murdered a circus employee when he tried to stop the robbery. Turpin discovers the sketches of Victor and Igor drawn by the latter. He also finds a bag which contains the lion's paw that Victor dropped the night before. Because of this evidence, Turpin turns the sketches into wanted posters and the men are wanted for murder. Over the past several months, a mysterious man matching Victor's description has also been buying and stealing animal parts all over London. Turpin, a devout man, believes Victor is up to something blasphemous. Later, Igor finds the hospital where Lorelei was taken. He pays a maid to look after Lorelei. On his way back to Victor's townhouse, he sees the wanted posters and panics. When Victor returns home from college, he assures Igor that the authorities are looking for a hunchbacked clown, not the new Igor. Victor then tells Igor about his work. It turns out Victor wants to reverse death's permanence. He shows Igor his latest experiment, the eyes of a man who died months ago. By preserving the eyes in a conductive liquid and attaching them to electric wires, he can reanimate them by flipping a switch. After examining the setup, Igor corrects a mistake, which further impresses Victor. Victor and Igor then embark on reanimating different organs, lungs, a heart, etc. Several weeks pass by and Lorelei finds a benefactor, which improves her life significantly. After Igor reanimates a pair of lungs, Victor takes him to a high society soiree. Victor becomes drunk and makes a nuisance of himself with his friends, while Igor runs into Lorelei at the gathering. At first, she doesn't recognize him, but when she does, she greets him warmly. It turns out she now masquerades as the mistress of a gay baron. Victor suddenly interrupts their reunion and behaves rudely towards Lorelei. Although he intrigues her by talking about the reversal of death, she much prefers Igor. At the end of the night, Victor warns Igor about becoming too close to Lorelei, calling her a distraction. Soon, Victor takes Igor into his basement laboratory and shows him Gordon, the corpse of a gruesome chimpanzee hybrid, made up of parts he stole or purchased from zoos. Thanks to Igor's innovations, Victor now believes he can reanimate Gordon by charging him with electricity. Igor's skepticism turns to absolute shock when Victor shocks Gordon and brings the creature back to life. The next day, Victor presents Gordon and his experiment to his college. Few people attend the lecture, and the audience also includes Lorelei, whom Igor invited, and Finnegan, Victor's snobbish, wealthy classmate. Initially, Victor cannot resuscitate Gordon, much to Finnegan's sneering delight, while Lorelei looks in disgust. 
Frustrated, Victor beats his equipment and the machinery shocks Gordon again, reviving him. Gordon goes berserk and tries to attack Igor and Lorelai. He escapes the classroom and Igor chases him through the building. Eventually, Igor corners Gordon in a stairwell and the two end up hanging by the banister. Fortunately, Victor finds them and pulls them to safety. At Igor's insistence, he crushes Gordon's head, ending his second life. After almost losing his life, Igor raises concerns about Victor's experiments, but the latter overrules him by reminding him all that he's done for him. Victor also earns the support of his rich classmate Finnegan, who commissions them to resurrect a human. Later, Turpin arrives at the college to inspect the damage Gordon inflicted. He then visits Victor's townhouse with Alistair and confronts Victor for his experiment with Gordon. He also demands to search the doctor's home, but Victor tells him to get a legal warrant. Turpin and Victor then clash over God and religion. Victor disdains Turpin's Christianity, while the former calls the latter a spawn of Satan. The next day, Igor meets Lorelai for a walk through the bustling streets of London. She tells him how uneasy Victor's experiments make her, saying Victor has gone too far. However, Igor finds it difficult to chastise Victor because he believes he owes everything he has become to the doctor. Lorelai disagrees and says he has always been kind and brilliant. After some more back and forth, Igor agrees he will speak to Victor. When he returns to the townhouse, he meets Mr. Frankenstein, Victor's father. He has come to inform his son that he's been expelled from the college. Igor overhears him tell Victor that now he has ruined his own life as opposed to that of his late brother Henry. Mr. Frankenstein's insults devastate Victor, and Igor decides not to voice his concerns. Instead, he snaps Victor out of his melancholy by pointing out that his sketches of Prometheus, the reanimated corpse, are too small. In order to make a reanimated body that can sustain a charge, they need to build a very large human. Victor's enthusiasm finally returns. He and Igor believe that if they put two hearts and two sets of lungs into Prometheus and revive him via lightning, they could reanimate him. Igor sees Victor's pocket watch, which Victor reveals belonged to someone he loved. Victor and Igor work feverishly on building Prometheus. One night, Igor goes to a dance with Lorelai. They have a wonderful time, and she takes him upstairs for some privacy. They spend the night together. Meanwhile, Turpin's rage towards Victor grows. The following morning, when Igor returns from Lorelai's party, he finds Turpin and a gang of policemen trying to break down the front door of Victor's townhouse. Igor sneaks inside and tells Victor they need to run. Victor has sent for one of Finnegan's carriages, but he wants to destroy his machines before they leave. Turpin sneaks in behind Igor and pulls a gun on the two men. But Victor knocks him into one of his machines and Turpin screams in agony as his hand is caught in a heavy gear. Victor and Igor escape through an underground passage and flee in Finnegan's carriage. Turpin bursts from Victor's house, having lost his hand and an eye, just in time to see the Finnegan family crest on the carriage. Finnegan doesn't seem to mind that Victor and Igor are wanted by the police, and he sends them to his family's castle in Scotland. When Igor refuses to go, Victor turns on him. He insults Igor, claiming Igor will never be accepted by society on his own. As Igor watches his former mentor leave, Finnegan's men sneak up behind him. They throw a bag over his head and bind his hands and legs. Finnegan has them throw Igor off the Westminster Bridge, explaining that he wants his family to control Victor's life-giving technology and he needs to clean up loose ends. However, Igor manages to untie his feet and swim to the surface. He goes to Lorelai, who nurses him back to health. After he recovers, Igor realizes he has Victor's watch with Henry written on it. A flashback reveals that as a child, Victor and his older brother used to go outside to play in the snow. One day, a blizzard blew in without warning, and his brother Henry died. Ever since then, Victor has always felt responsible for taking his brother's life. Back in the present, Igor decides to go to Scotland to stop Victor's experiment, and Lorelai insists upon traveling with him. When Igor and Lorelai arrive at Finnegan's isolated castle, they encounter an army of guards. Lorelai distracts them, allowing Igor to sneak past them. When Lorelai tries to leave, Turpin appears out of nowhere. It's revealed he didn't have a warrant to search Victor's home, so he has been fired. Nevertheless, he is still hell-bent on stopping Victor's satanic work. 
Inside the castle, Victor and Finnegan prepare for Prometheus's resurrection. A lightning storm brews, and they have strapped the body into a cage attached to electrical wires. When Igor tries to stop Victor, Victor dismisses him. Turpin also manages to sneak into the castle in time to see the lightning strike the body. Slowly but unmistakably, the chest rises and falls. Finnegan and Victor rejoice. But when more lightning strikes the tower, the machinery explodes and Finnegan falls to his death. Turpin draws a gun on Victor, but both men are distracted when they realize Prometheus's cage is empty. Victor declares that there is no god, only man. Suddenly, Victor, Turpin, and Igor see Prometheus standing across the tower. Victor runs over to it while Turpin threatens to shoot. The creature moves slowly, but despite Victor's commands, it does not react. Seeing this, he realizes the gravity of his mistake. He has not created life at all. Turpin shoots Prometheus, and it attacks Victor in a rage. When Turpin continues to shoot Prometheus, it brutally eliminates him. Igor jumps into the fray and stabs Prometheus through the heart with a spike. The creature collapses, but Victor reminds Igor that Prometheus has two hearts. It roars back to life, but Igor stabs its second heart before collapsing out of exhaustion. Igor wakes up the next morning with Lorelai by his side, and a letter from Victor. In the letter, Victor figures that Igor has had enough of him and apologizes for being cruel. He also calls Igor his finest creation and promises to meet again before ending the letter. Lorelai and Igor embrace, while somewhere in the Scottish countryside, Victor sets out on a new adventure. That was all from the video, I hope you liked it! Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.